Hey, good morning. Uh, so we're here today at Disney's Olani Resort and Spa, and we've come out for a few days here, and we're gonna give you guys a full overview of the resort, as much as we can offer. So a few experiences that are a little bit outside of our price range that we're not gonna do. Um, the spa being one of them, because that is pricey. I think it's like $200 per treatment just to get into the room, essentially. Um, but we're going to take you all throughout and we're going to give you a tour of the room separately in a different video uh, we will have a full in-depth tour and review of our room as well we're staying in a disney vacation club room we've rented those points like separately through uh, a third party company i'll put a link down in the description to where we rented those from and uh, let you know the price and whatnot of that this isn't an all-inclusive resort or anything like that so there are obviously added extras for food entertainment all that kind of stuff but it is a disney resort so there will be hints of disney throughout but i hear this is quite hawaiian in its uh, nature so it should be pretty cool um, if you guys do enjoy the video throughout give us thumbs up do appreciate it. it really does help us out a lot and i'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos Let's get inside. So as we turn into the main resort, uh, we've got this cool tree with uh, hanging light up decorations on the branches as well. This does light up at night, so that is really cool. And then uh, we make our way up the drive. Now, typically you'll obviously be driving up here. You wouldn't be walking like I am currently. Um, you've got some cool, statues over there and the water feature and you can see the resort begin to poke through the tree line so just up here is the self-parking structure now self-parking is $37 a night if you are a DVC guest self-parking is free of charge and then valet is $37 a night. Quite a few levels there. Um, and you just tap your room key to the barrier and that'll open up for you, particularly if you are a DVC member. Loads of water features and just a very tranquil environment as we make our way up to the lobby. So when you come for the check-in, there will be somebody stationed out there and they'll tell you to come and uh, park up here. You'll take your bags out and put them on one of these uh, trolleys if you'd like to. Uh, and then you go and do the check-in and whatnot and then come and move your car later as I said valet parking or guest parking if you have driven here there are a lot of shuttles that will drop you off though here on the Port Cachet you've got loads of greenery around and then this is the lobby area so it's only kind of really like a single or two-story lobby it's not huge So as we come up to the lobby entrance, we've got bell services to the left, we've got valet services to the right, and then we'll go for the main entrance. It gets quite windy in here, so there may be a little bit of a gust as we come in. But as you first enter, you're greeted by all the Hawaiian artistry around the top. Beautiful beautiful ceiling to this. Let's take you straight out to that view quickly. So around the outside here you've got a number of seats. You've got some small uh, single seats. And then you've got these sofas as well. And this adorns the whole of the front of the lobby area. Mickey Mouse. The 
some water areas, water features here. And it's just a beautiful outside area. And you've got like the thatched roof as well on the main lobby building. So the layout is kind of weird. You've got the main lobby building, and then you've got the two towers, one either side that kind of flank the lobby building. Now, going between the towers on like the top floors, you can't do that. You have to come back down to the lobby on the third floor. The lobby is the third floor. Uh, there are some other stuff on the ground floor, but not a significant amount. And then you make your way between the towers through the lobby. You've also got these seating areas just either side of that exit. And uh, all of these windows do open up as well, which looks really awesome. So as we go to the right of the main entrance, it's the water feature that we saw from the outside. And you've got another water feature just here as well. Hollow Hollow Tours and Travel. So this is where you would book all of your excursions and any day trips that you would want, potentially to Pearl Harbor, the Polynesian Cultural Center, or the Dole Plantation. Uh, just behind us, uh, on the front side of the lobby, you've got the concierge desks. Now this is where you would be booking your dining reservations if you needed them, you'd get anything, extras delivered to your room, any of those little amenities that you may need. And then of course you've got the front desk just to the side of that as well. So this line can get pretty busy, they normally have two to three people on, but there can be a queue, we've seen it go all the way down, so pack your patience with that. A little bit of what we were talking about before so you're on the third floor you can get between the actual uh, rooms but if you go down you go outside if you go up you can't get between the towers that way in here you've got a small nook for children uh, where they can be watching cartoons and TV and a little bit of uh, Hawaiian artwork and a Mickey. Just in here, you've got an ATM. And you can post your mail just here. So here at the Hoku Hideaway, this is the Disney Vacation Club Preview Center. And it is roped off at the moment, so I can't really go in there. Um, but as you can see, it's just a little bit of a lounge area. You've got some Moana symbolism adorning the walls and floors. Opposite this, this is the exit to the guest parking. Little bit of a different overview of the Disney Vacation Club lounge here. Just 
this is where they will come to explain Disinfection Club to you and, well, sell it to you, basically. And uh, that is the final sales office there, to the opposite. So you've got a number of rooms this way. We are sort of getting into one of the towers at the moment. So just here to the right, we've got the ice and vending. So you've got a small vending machine, a couple of little items, except cash and contactless card as well. Apple Pay, and you've got the ice machine, and then trash and recycling is just what it says. It's a room with a trash and recycling bin. More rooms go that way to the outside, and then we come to the elevator bank now. We're going to take you up in the elevator to give you a short tour of our room. So here in the elevator, you can see it's quite uh, quite cool. And we've got another one of the Manahunes just uh, creeping up there in the top. So we come out of the block of lifts and you've got the full panoramic window there. And then we turn right to our room and head down the corridor. And we'll take you inside the room. So let's give you a very brief overview of our room. If you want to check out a full in-depth overview, I'll put a link up in the top corner and you can check that out. And that will also give you an idea of our thoughts and feelings on the room after we stayed in here for a few days as well. Uh, so coming in, we've got a closet on the left-hand side. We've got the small sink kitchenette with a fridge freezer. Fridge in there, small freezer on the top. And then we've also got a microwave as well. And you've got your utensils in there, um, cutlery, bowls, plates, etc. Um, so coming around just behind us, we've got the bathroom. Um, we've got bath, shower combo with a rain shower head and a sort of non-fixed shower head, removable shower head. As I said, sink area, you've got H2O Plus products, uh, and then you've got a separate uh, loo in there as well. And just under there on the shelf, you've also got a hairdryer too. Um, so coming around, you've got a full length mirror just to the left hand side. You've got some storage area here on the left as well, number of uh, drawers there. And you've got the double bed just there. Uh, prefer it to be a little bit bigger, but you know, it is what it is. You do also have storage under the bed as well, which is really cool to see. Number of plug sockets located around the room, um, particularly on the alarm clock, you've got a USB-A and a USB-C. large screen TV where you can check out all of the activities, dine-in, shops, etc. that are throughout the resort. Um, that will also give your daily activities just there, which is highlighted on the left-hand side. Uh, just here, this is a double sofa bed. So that does pull out and located in this ottoman, that's where all your additional blankets will be. You've got small seating area. With, uh, with two seats and you've got your little uh, cute Mickey Mouse lamp there as well as some additional plug sockets just behind along with a USB-A and a USB-C port. And then uh, as we go over here we can get outside and we've got the balcony as this is a ocean view room that we've booked through DVC points. There is your ocean view You've got the reef out there, the rainbow reef where you can go and feed fish. You've got the children's play area and you've got the lazy river. And just over there, kind of in central pain, is the lobby check-in area. 
and as you can see you've got rooms flanking either side of the main area of the resort. As a very brief overview of the room, as I said, if you want to check out a full in-depth review, uh, feel free to click on the link. Uh, that'll be down in the description. And I'll go into the room in a lot more detail, picking out the amenities and going over all the little bits and pieces that the room and whatnot has to offer. So back down, we'll head to the opposite side of the lobby now. So we're back in the lobby and we're going to go left of the main entrance, that's the main entrance door. Goes out to the gardens, or the view of the garden, over the gardens there. And as I said, left of the main entrance to show you what we've got this side. More of the water features and fountain area. And so this area is kind of multi-use. We've got a couple of, we've got these manahune that are dotted around the resort find them hiding in various places. You've got this ship here. At the moment, uh, the shop here is using this as like additional merchandise area for the reduced items. Um, but we have seen it used as like a local merchandise area. So where local craftsmen come and uh, set up stalls and whatnot here, which is pretty cool. And then our first shop here is the Kelapas store. So at the moment we've got the limited Halloween merch. Um, and this is Olani Halloween merch as well. So that's, I think that must say Happy Halloween. And then you've got Olani Hawaii spirit jersey, Halloween spirit jersey. to Olani. We've got Mr. and Mrs. stuff behind because this is quite a big honeymoon vacation hotspot. She's got exclusive lounge flies, spirit jerseys, photo frames, ornaments. Some of the Fab Five dressed up in their beach gear. And then you got loads of uh, ornaments that are exclusive to here as well. Aloha, Mickey, repping the Aloha. <laughs> and here we've got some of the Duffy and Friends. Olumel, that's the, uh, the turtle. We've got uh, the rabbit, not sure of the names of all of them. I think this is Shelley May, maybe. And then Duffy as well.
there you go. And that's the, um, these are really big in the Asian parks. So Duffy, Olamel, um, you know, they're huge in the Asian parks. Particularly in Shanghai. And they're very big there. You also got the generic Disney merchandise as well, um, in addition to the actual resort merchandise. And then you've also got some small grab and go items, anything that you have missed from home, as well as drinks and snacks and whatnot. And then you've got these exclusive cookies, shortbreads, and uh, little cookies that you can only get here at Olani. You can also buy teas and coffees limited to the Hawaiian blend and you can get your alcohol here as well. So up here we've got the Iwa Tower. Let's give you some, uh, an idea of some of the uh, artwork on the walls. the ceilings as well we're on we're here in the Halloween season so we've got these pumpkins dotted around so here you've got a bank of telephones Water fountain, more telephones, more fibbers here as well. And we go out, we've got the conference center and car rental. So you can rent a car on site here. So if you only want a car for a couple of days, you just go there and rent it. You've got the conference center. So if you were to come here on a business trip, you potentially may have a meeting up this way. Or alternatively, you, I believe you can use this as a wedding venue as well, which is quite cool. So for your reception. And that's quite a large space that can be split up into a number of different rooms. You also do have a artificial grass area here. And you'll be able to do various activities out here. This is a nice covered, relaxing seating area. Just gonna head back into the main building where we were just a second ago. So coming back in, we've got the Hell Manu shop. And this is more of the upper class shop. got loads of home goods here that are all Olani 
We've got Shave Ice Mickey Ice Tray. Shave Ice Mickey Ice Tray. So this is the more, I guess, upper class shop at the resort. This is where you'll get your Dooney and Burke bags. You buy your artwork. You get your blankets, your dressing gowns, your tote bags. These tote bags look cool because they look like they're made out of like recycled material. Clothing items. And because this is a DVC resort as well, you do have DVC exclusive merchandise that's available here. Pandora charms. You've got two exclusive Pandora charms in the middle there. Ola Mel. That's the turtle. The uh, turtle that's really, really popular in Shanghai. And then you've got these cool shirts, ears, prints. And then you can buy any of these art pieces as well. That's a brief okay. overview of the second shop here. And as we come back out, we now head downstairs. So you can get down via the elevators, but we're going to take you down the stairs right now. Nice, easy set of stairs. As I said, you do have those elevators available. This is the Mahi Makahiki restaurant. We will go in there, but we're gonna just turn around first and take you around this side. We've got a map of the Oahu Island here. It's basically like the entire island and little depictions of what you'll be able to see in each of the areas. And just behind us, we've got the Disney Photo Pass booth where you can go and see the photos that you've had taken of you in the resort. And then here you've got your restrooms and water fountains as well. So we are going to take you back inside here, just a second. And we're going to take you into the Makahiki restaurant. We'll show you both breakfast and dinner service in here. So first up for breakfast, it's a free course breakfast menu. Um, so you've got a basket of mini breakfast bakeries and sliced seasonal fruit and berries together. Uh, you've got entrees, a lot of eggs, a lot of egg options. And then you've got like a dessert thing going on after as well. Uh, you've also got the Kiki menu, which is the children's menu as well. And this is $48 per adult and $29 for children. 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. for breakfast. And then gratuities and service charge is added at the end. Service charge automatically added for parties of seven or more. 
Quite a nice restaurant. You've got like the Hawaiian paintings. Uh, you've got like the glass kind of chandelier thing over the top. And you've got somebody playing an ukulele down the bottom. Bird. Stitch making his rounds, as is Pluto. We also ordered juices and a coffee. And this is the fruit plate, so you've got strawberries, you've got berries on there, you've got some pineapple and melon. Small portion. We've also got the pastries here. So we've got ourselves a croissant. That looks like a, a couple of danishes in there as well. And a little muffin. And then I'll show you the main course, the loco moco that we've got there. So on the bed of rice, you've got the hamburger, you've gravy, and I've gone for scrambled egg over the top. So quite a sizable portion. Give it towards my hand. Pretty good. We ordered ourselves a side of Mickey and Minnie waffles. Forgot to actually show you it though before I started cutting into it. So I'll put a picture in of what it should look like now. Um, but they're, they're fairly small, the mini Mickey waffles, not just the single big one. So here we have the menu. So for starter, we've got corn soup, Caesar salad, or caprice salad. For mains, we've got the local catch of the day, farm-raised salmon, roasted breast of chicken, shrimp and feta sin, fettuccine, maybe, plant-based pasta, New York steak, and ribeye steak. And then we've got roasted pineapple cobbler, Wadiwa chocolate toffee brownie, Kona coffee cheesecake. That's $70 for an adult or $30 for a child. So we've ordered the Caprice salad. And this is Becky's meal. It looks incredibly well presented. You've got the dressing on there, uh, cheese in the bottom. You've got the tomatoes. You've got the arugula, which is rocket to us. Just incredibly well presented. I didn't like anything on the menu, so. I asked them for some fries and they sent me these bang bang fries. Don't know what they are actually, I think it's like spicy soy sauce, cheese and uh, sesame, sesame seeds maybe. So I've gone for the ribeye steak. I've asked for it medium rare, not sure how it's come, but we have got this little skewer in it that says medium rare. So they're obviously doing a few and that one's being like, right, this is medium rare. So we got the Hawaiian chimichurri, and then we got the Bourbon barbecue with it. We got asparagus, and we got some uh, mushrooms on there as well. Looks really nice. And then Becky's gone for the, the shrimp fettuccine, uh, and that looks like a good portion as well. You got mushrooms in there, what we call tagliatelle, some large shrimp. So we're here on our honeymoon, and we just got this little cake. like a celebratory congratulations thing it did have a chocolate plaque saying congratulations but i got a little bit greedy uh so we've got the cheesecake this is the kona coffee cheesecake looks really nice obviously the presentation not there we're gonna get it to take away that's one of the problems with uh set menus you're not really feeling free courses but you've got to have them uh, and we got the brownie as well This is the Aleo room. Very much Hawaiian in theming. So you got all of these uh, little figures and all of the Hawaiian words for the figures underneath them. Which is really cool. You can get sushi here as well. These are the sushi items. And then you've got uh, small appetizers as well, from five to 10. Bang bang fries, edamame, miso soup, you've got some oysters, 
mac and cheese, chicken strips and fries, ice cream sundae, roasted pineapple cobbler. So you got a few, a few items. All right. So as we come outside, we'll take you around the pool areas. Just to our right, we've got Mickey meeting and greeting at the restaurant. So we've just come out the exit by Makahiki restaurant and so we come down the stairs from the lobby as you've seen and we've come out of the main door there. So oh, okay. show you what we've got here. We've got the Lani Way, Disney Spa, Rainbow Reef, Menahau Bridge, Kamaka Landing, restaurants and bars include Ulu Cafe and Moilani Kulba. And then up to the left path, just here, you've got Auntie's Beach House, Halawai Lawn, and then you've got Ama Ama Off the Hook and Little Opie's. So we're just taking the path to the right here. This beautiful rock garden here. Um, and it's actually got fish in it. You've got uh, you've got a big carp in there. Um, you've got that cool statue of a sea turtle in there. Fish just at the top that you can see. And we'll head around and we'll see some more. Uh, this is the start, one of the entrances of the Lazy River. So we'll show you that in a little bit more detail. said about uh, Mickey meeting and greeting just over there uh, and then you've got fish there like I mentioned you've also got Pluto you've also got Pluto and Goofy doing meet and greet in the restaurant as well uh, so that is a character breakfast Just here, you've got another entrance to the Lazy River. So they do provide you with the floats and things like that as well. Uh, the pool and Lazy River is open till 6 p.m. today. It's eight till six. And that does vary depending on time of year, day of week, etc. So as you're walking around, we're just going around the outside at the moment. Here is a map of the resort. So the little Mickey head just here is where we are. Um, you've got an entrance into the tower here. And then this goes sort of all the way along. You have all rooms overlooking the ocean that way. Um, and then the other side, they'll overlook this garden here. just as we go to the end of the corridor here uh, right in front of us we've got the spa now we can't go in there because you need a treatment or uh, well no you need a treatment to go in there and um, as we turn to the left we've got here painted sky it's closed out at the moment but that's effectively what I believe is Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique uh, but a Hawaiian version of it um, so that's quite cool to have and then as we end we've got the Mickey Mickey I like that <laughs> fitness center so let's have a quick look in here we might not be able to go in here for too long because there might be people working out in here change of facility And then you've got your 
for your gym equipment. Techno gym. Peloton bikes as well, which is really cool. And then you've got your free weight section as well. So it's a very, very nice, very advanced gym. Free towels as well. Um, and you can sign up for fitness classes in here, which is pretty good. So that is the uh, fitness center. So also next to the fitness center, the spa, etc. If we turn to the right, uh, we do have a guest laundry section in there. There's quite a few people in there, so we're not gonna go in. But you've got uh, free washers, six dryers. You've got laundry detergent that you can buy, and it's uh, like $1 per token. And it takes four tokens to use a wash, four tokens to use a dryer. So you do have washing facilities here, if you choose to. So just take you in here for a second. Now this isn't on at the moment, the uh, kids splash area, because uh, we are out here a little bit early just to try and avoid crowds and whatnot. Um, but you can see an overview of what the splash area looks like. Loads of interactive elements. These things in central pain turn, you've got water squirters, um, little buckets that fall down. And that will be a rain head. You've also got these little gods located everywhere throughout. And uh, this is where you can get your pool towels from 8 a.m. as well, in the little hut there. Just backtracking ourselves slightly. Uh, you do have showers located near all the entrances to the pools and water areas, so you can shower off just before you get into the pools. And this will be open until five on this particular day. So you see the design elements that this has is pretty fantastic. And you do also have a little slide that comes down as well. Pretty cool. So, as we showed you on the map, you've got a number of pool, water areas, things like that. This is the Rainbow Reef now. It is closed at the moment, but the hours are 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. You can do the Rainbow Reef Experience, which is $25. You've got Length of Stay Pass, which is $45. And then for children, uh, it's Kiki. Uh, it's 25, 20 and 35 respectively. Uh, you can do Supplied Air Snorkeling, so scuba, really, 45 And then you can also purchase your premium seat in here as well, which can be a little pricey. I'll take you up, give you Quick overview. You also got loads of seating area here as well.
Right, so one of the food options here is the Ulu Cafe. So let's take you in there now. Firstly, this is an area that you get your Coco freestyle machines and these do shut off just before the area closes and so I believe that's at 9 o'clock. So here in the Ulu Ula Cafe is your grab and go. So you've got a few, you've got your breakfast menu and you've got your all day menu as well. soft drinks, alcoholic beverages, and you've got sandwiches, wraps, salads. Here you can order your akai bowls, flatbreads, hot sandwiches, and then poke bowls. Then here you've also got your muffins, cakes, and your little grab and go sweet items. You can also buy line themed popcorn buckets and reusable mugs as well. Pretty good selection of stuff in here. And you've got coffees and whatnot just out here as well. So that's a pretty cool option that you've got here, the Ulu Cafe. You've also got poolside dining available as well. You just scan this QR code. And this is some of the breakfast offerings at least that you have at the Ulu Cafe. So just here we've got Kiki Cove and this is like a little splash pad water area. You've got the octopus design on the floor and then just around it you've got loads of little carvings in the rocks there and again more seating. So we're going to head right firstly. Ulu Cafe on our right. So here you've got the Weilana pool. Bit of a smaller pool. You've got some cool little fountains just off to the side. Loads of sunbeds here. Now, part of the rules is you can put a towel down anytime before eight o'clock, but you need to be actively using the sunbed at that time. Anytime after that, you can leave it for an hour at a time. So you do get people out here fairly early putting towels on in order to secure sunbeds. We're also out here fairly early just to uh, just to report this to you guys. Just here you have got a pool bar, um, and here it's not a swim up bar or anything like that. But you can get coffees and and then throughout the day that will change into cocktails mocktails and various food items like burgers small flatbreads and uh, and those kind of items you have restrooms located throughout the outside pool area uh, as well as more additional seating so you can get changed in here uh, there's no specific changing area per se um, but you're just changing the restroom this is an example of those premium seating options um, so you've got the gazebo there uh, you do have a tv in the gazebo which is pretty cool a fridge and a, a lock box um, and then you've got these 
more premium seating options as well. A bit more plush. So here you've got kind of an infinity pool, which goes out over the lagoon there. Um, and then you've got this really awesome cave. Uh, this is really good to see as well, by the way. Every pool area has a hoist to get in. You've got another part of the pool area. This is just the other side of the infinity pool. Uh, and then you've also got this hot tub as well, which turns into kind of an infinity hot tub, which kind of heats that a little bit. Um, but you can see the rock work here is pretty cool. And this is a heated hot tub spa. So that pool in particular is the Kamaka Grotto Pool. It's got all these uh, sort of little nooks and crannies that you can uh, sit in, which are pretty cool. Let's take you down and just give you a bit of an overview of the pool of the beach area. We're not going to give you the full in depth there. very accessible as well you've got ramps as well as stairs everywhere as you can see you've got quite a nice area to relax in loads of sunbed you've also got these premium canopies as well right on the beach and it's in a little grove as well so you can swim in confidence that you're not going to get completely washed away because the waves break on the rocks there and just here you've got another food and drink option now this is only open 11 a.m till 5 p.m uh, so it is closed at the moment um, but you can get pineapple, pineapple, watermelon, or swell. You can mini Dole Whip waffle bowl, Moana or Stitch Dole Whip fruit sundaes, all your ice creams and drinks. And this is where you can get all your rentals for your beach stuff. So you can rent a snorkel set, stand-up paddle board, and Casabella, that's the premium seating option. You can do your sailing adventures and you can just hire your beach equipment here as well. Now running fitness classes on the beach. And you've also got your table tennis. You've got Connect 4. And you've got like a, um, I don't know what this is, a beanbag game. You can leave that there, we go back up now. So heading back up, that's where we were just a second ago. Got more showers up here. This is the kind of main pool area right here. So you see it's kind of a zero entry pool, which is really nice. And this is the Wakoli, uh, that's probably a very bad pronunciation on my part, the Wakoli pool. This goes all the way around. And under the rock work over there, I'm gonna take you over there in just a second. 
So just up here is the adults only pool area. So it's reserved for over 18s. You've got an infinity pool there, which is essentially a spa pool as well. And that runs into another pool just down the bottom. You've only got five or six deck chairs here. So it is a hot commodity, this area. You've got more seating areas. You've got a fire pit just here, which is really cool. So you can uh, sit under the under the stars, still being warm. Now this is Ama Ama restaurant. We're not going to eat there, sadly, because um, it is rather expensive. It's 125 for a four course taster menu, but we'll show you what the menu looks like in just a second when we get around there. But as you can see, you've got tons of seating down here. The governor and I were texting uh, Saturday night during the ball. Yeah. And you've got more of the premium seating options just down the end. And of course, you've got that spectacular view from here. As I said before, it's very accessible. You've got ramps going everywhere, as well as the staircase that we came down. This is off the hook. This is one of their bars and quick service food areas. You can get a table in there. It can turn into table service throughout the day, um, but you've also got a grab and go around the other side, which will take you to. Another entrance to the pool area just here in the kind of grotto that you've got. And this is the stairs to the slide. So what we're going to do, we're going to take you down the raft slide. There are two. You've got one that you just slide down, uh, no raft, and one that you can go either single or double in a tube. Uh, so we'll take you down that one now. So we're just about to go down the slides. This is the tube stone curl. You've also got the volcanic vertical as well. Um, I'm not going to take you down the volcanic vertical. It's basically pitch black inside and you can't see anything at all. So there's no point in taking down that with us. But we will go down the tube stone curl. Oh. <laughs> so just coming around we've got auntie's beach house here this is the kids club now we aren't able to go in there we don't have children um so we don't have access to it but this is ama ama that's where you get to ama ama this is what we showed you from the back before and show you the menu here so it is a four course tasting menu 
Uh, you've got quite a varied menu on there as well, some cool items. Um, but it's under $25. Uh, and yeah. then you've got the addition of taxes, gratuities on top of that. Wine pairing is 55 Signature cocktails, and the cocktails aren't too expensive, which is quite good. Uh, and then you've got plant-based option as well. Free course kids menu is $55, uh, available up to the age of nine. And then as you can see, coming in, that's the uh, you know, kind of cool seating area. You got the fountain that we saw, and then you got this awesome photo opportunity here. So here you've got another Coca-Cola freestyle machine. There are a few dotted around. I think this one's open 24 seven, whereas the ones in Hulu close when Hulu closes. Excuse me. Yeah, you're fine. Halawaya Lawn. grills around here as well so you can do yourself a barbecue So this is where you would have your luau out here. So of course they've got all of the uh, seating, stage area ready set up. Quite a big area. You've got general or preferred seating. So this is, uh, this is pretty cool. They also do character interactions out here as well. So just heading back on ourselves slightly from the Auntie's Beach House area and off the hook mobile pickup. Come around, we've got this cool stitch statue here. Uh, you do have entrances into the towers just here as well. And you've got the Lazy River just here. So kind of gone around the outside of the pool area at the moment and giving you sort of brief overviews of what there is to do here. Uh, we're going to take you just a little bit more into the middle in just a second and show you some of the food offerings as well. with this being a Disney Vacation Club resort as well. They do have model villas open that you can just go in and check out um, and see whether you want to become a DVC member. Uh, it's essentially Disney's timeshare. Uh, this is another entrance to the Luau Lawn, the Holloway Lawn. Just here, you've got the Pauhana room. Um, so let's take you inside there now. Pretty cool. This is where you do all of your sort of uh, community projects, tie-dye t-shirts, Mickey ears, things like that. And here you've also got the Luana lounge. No, this is locked most of the time. It says limited access for late departures. See the front desk for assistance. 
but it's just an area to chill out in and relax if you are in the resort a little longer but you don't want to use the facilities you can just relax in there and enjoy your time resting in the morning Another entrance to the Lazy River. And you've got this cool fountain just in the center with the shooting spouts. Lifeguards are always on duty when the pool deck is open. So again, we've got accessible areas to go all through, which is fantastic. You've got these bridges that cross over as well um, so as we're up on the top bridge here if we go to our right we've got another spa here this is open eight till eight again with a hoist really accessible Then we're back uh, around by the kids' splash play area. Now I'm doing a bit of work on the volcano at the moment, so unfortunately that is not really visible through the scaffolding. But this is the final entrance here to the Lazy River. Uh, this is also the exit to the raft slide as well. And then it obviously goes round. You can go really essentially off the raft slide into the lazy river. Again, another entrance into the Lazy River. This is zero entry. You've got the ability to get towels just here and more deck chairs and lounges. So just under here, you've got the uh, grotto and viewpoint area of the rainbow roof. So you can come in and spot some of the fishes. And then you've even got these little plaques to identify them as well. lava rocks here this is a small grab and go shop so you can get some of your swimming items anything that you need for a day by pool essentially drinks some small snack options and it's quite a cool area to be in as well and also another coke freestyle machine 
So as we come out of the lava shack, we've got a couple of food quick service items by the pool. We've got the shave ice, Papalawa shave ice. And this is open 11 a.m. till 5 p.m. It's uh, $5, $5.50, $6, $6.50, and then Mickey ears is a dollar, and you've got all kinds of flavor. And then you've got Mama's Snack Store, Mama's Snack Stop here, which uh, you've got a few entrees, fish and chips, Ono sandwich, coconut bread shrimp, chicken fingers, mozzarella sticks, mini corn dog bites, french fries, bottled soda, and uh, all kinds of little bits and pieces. But it's a really cute, well-designed thing. We're here for the Halloween season as well. So we've got a cool sign outside as well. And then we've got one more restroom area just here as well. And then we are back by the end of the main pool. And that's the pretty much the end of the outside of Olani and all the recreational activities. So hopefully that video and the tour has given you a good idea as to whether you should come out to Disney's Olani Resort and Spa. Um, absolutely huge resort, really. Um, there's not a lot of entertainment, but you've got tons of pools, tons of water related things to do. Um, and then you've got the Pohana room and uh, Auntie's Beach House as well. Uh, sadly, of course, we could not get in Auntie's Beach House because it doesn't have an open house at the moment uh, and we don't have children to take in and drop it into the kids club. Um, but as I said, hopefully it's given you a good idea as to whether you should come out or not. Um, if you have enjoyed the video throughout, give a thumbs up. Do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot. And I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button, bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks.